Hello and welcome to how to design your sports career. Now this is going to be part over the next coming weeks. This is the first part of a training series because as you are aware, to design your entire sports career takes a bit longer than just a 30 minute session. For those of you who don't know me yet, my name is David Karasek. I'm the founder of the Tribe of Athletes where we help athletes with their mental game. And what we're going to do today is we're going to I'm going to give you an introduction to the law of attraction because I'm sure many of you have already heard about the law of attraction but it's like one of these maybe you've seen the secret or maybe you've read a book or somebody else like Conor McGregor the fighter mentioned it but we don't really know we're not so sure what it is and it is my the law of attraction has changed my life I have I was introduced to this idea about nine months ago when I was really like I mean really made familiar with the idea and explained what the law of attraction is and my mentor is William Whitecloud from the Natural Sexist Academy and the other one is Bob Proctor um, from the Proctor Gallagher Institute and the thing is why I'm so confident about this knowledge is because first of all I've seen it firsthand on me how it's changed my life how I have the, the people that I have attracted in my life my girlfriend that I have attracted the money that I'm attracting the athletes that I'm attracting just everything the relationships the happiness it's been the most phenomenal nine months of my life and the reason why I'm so confident about this is that and I almost I want to like brag about the knowledge because it's not my knowledge it really isn't. It's the knowledge of people before us. It's people that I have. Rob Proctor is 87 and he spent his entire life studying the most successful people on this planet. And he's had mentors that have done that before him. So this knowledge has accumulated over the years. So it's not my knowledge. But what I'm trying to say here and what I am saying is that the goal of life is to raise your awareness. It's to know more about what life is all about, to know more about yourself, to know more about success and to contribute more. And that is all a function of how aware you are, how much of the truth that you're seeing, that you're not reacting to situations, but that you're responding, that you're going for what you really love and become inspired in the process and become really magnetic to other people and inspire them and contribute and give back. And the, the way I would love for you to think about, to kick this off, is the level of awareness. Like think of a baby. A baby, for example, doesn't know when it's born. It doesn't know the difference between male and female, right? For us, it's like super clear because we have developed the awareness and the baby, as it grows, it will develop, like see, okay, I'm a guy, okay, she's a girl, and then it will know right and it's similar with the laws that govern the universe and our planet it's like for example gravity imagine a cliff where it's just like with a steep drop 100 meters if you are on that cliff you are aware of how gravity works and you know you don't take the next step and otherwise you're falling and you're dead but imagine a baby that's crawling towards the cliff the baby doesn't have the awareness yet and it will go right over and die right so it's about raising our awareness and finding more about finding out more about how life works and gravity is something that we naturally get introduced to because as a baby we start to walk and we fall on our ass it's like i have this thing if i let it go you know it's gonna go and it's something that we can see with our eyes it's something that we can hear we can feel so it makes a lot of sense for us, but there's other laws in the universe, like the law of attraction, the law of vibration, how your thoughts like can literally change a plant. Like it is stuff that we cannot see and hear and feel with our five senses, but just because we can't do that doesn't mean that they're not here. And it doesn't mean that they're not working. So, you know, with gravity, if I believe it's gonna fall or not, it doesn't matter, it's just gonna go. And with the other laws that govern this universe, it's the same thing. They don't care if you believe in them or not. They're just going to work and they're going to, they just are. So my suggestion is that it's good to be in alignment, in harmony with these laws and to learn about them 
and to make them work for you because my mentors are saying if you really want something you can have anything you want in life and isn't that like a premise that is so 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 beautiful and when you study and this is why i'm so confident when you study the most successful business people athletes parents artists even though they are from all over the world have all kinds of cultures and have different ideas on how the world works they have two things in common the first one is that they have a big dream and the second one is that they believe that can reach their dream before it has happened the Wright brothers they had a dream to fly they were bicycle mechanics out of Dayton Ohio they had a dream to fly and they believed they could fly before we had airplanes Michael Jordan had a dream to be the best basketball player in the world and he believed he could be that before he won an NBA championship so we there is a tremendous power of seeing where you want to go okay and this is what this training is all about this is I'll give you I want to like pull up the screen here because I prepared some slides for you in a nutshell what we're gonna do in throughout this entire training today is the first part of it but this is where you are today and this is where you want to go okay very simple it's where you are today where you want to go and how do we get from where we are today to where we want to go okay this is the science the process of success of achievement okay so that's that's what that's all we're doing it's very simple and all the all by the way this knowledge it is not difficult knowledge it is absolutely not rocket science this is easily learnable for everybody you know and these these principles these laws they've been around they are actually described in the Bible in the Quran in other texts and human beings have used them for a long time it's just that you know I'm, that's the question that I have how the hell did nobody tell me earlier about this but you know what the answer is is that it's always been here I just didn't hear it I just wasn't aware of it so now if you're in contact in touch with this knowledge I encourage you that's what my mentors told me is like they didn't say you have to do this they said try it on for size and see if it fits you and that's what I'm suggesting that you do and then if you know already because you're an athlete you already know if you have a coach that believes in you that is a high level coach and that really cares about you your progress is just going to be like a lot faster if you do what the coach is telling you that's what my mentors told me they're like do exactly as I tell you and you can have anything that you want and oh boy the last eight months have just been absolutely fucking incredible okay so uh, let's keep going here and I also so you you, you go know this guy Steve Jobs right and I just want to like also bring in a few very famous and super smart people that have you know created some of the biggest or the craziest coolest things on this planet okay so it's not like just me and my mentors these are you know the, the people that really make shit happen they they are speaking about that okay okay so look if you think about we talked about awareness so there is an infinite amount of awareness awareness nobody knows where you can go so if we reach a certain point always a higher and a lower so we can always be better how do you know that look at look at sports you would think Michael Phelps he's like the best ever and they say nobody's going to beat his records and all that nobody has won a gold medals in the Olympics that's true but they're smashing his record now okay so we can always be better no matter what and you know that you can always be better okay so look this is where you are today this white X is where you are today now how did you get here step by step okay step by step and now you have a dream you have a goal okay we're going to speak about goals a bit a bit later today and that goal is somewhere up there now you see there is a void right and here's the thing the people that are up here they see 
what's going on down here because they've been there. They know exactly what's going on down here. But the people that are here, they don't know what's going on here. They have no idea because they've never been. So it feels like there is a void. Okay, so that's why if you have a goal that really inspires you, you don't know how you're going to get there. If you know how to get there, it's like somewhere below the X because you already know how to do it. You got to have a goal that you have no idea how to get there. And it's got to, you know how they say, if your goal doesn't scare you, it's not big enough. That's what they mean. You got to be scared because you have no idea how you're going to get there. The Wright brothers had no idea how they're going to fly, but they knew they were going to fly. Michael Jordan had no idea how he was going to be the best player. No idea. You don't need to know the how. You need to know what you really want. Okay. Now, look, this is Steve Jobs. So how do we get from where we are today to where we want to go? Look, this is what he says. You can't connect the dots looking forward. You can only connect them looking backwards. So you have to trust that the dots will somehow connect in your future. You have to trust in something, your gut, destiny, life, karma, whatever. This approach has never let me down and it has made all the difference in my life. This is Steve Jobs saying that. And you see, you can't connect the dots forward. You have no idea how you're going to get there. And if you know how to get there, you don't have the right dream for this, you know, with, with, with take. We'll get back to that. Well, we were speaking about like the big dream that really inspires you. Okay. And just look. So you have to trust that the dots will somehow connect in your future. And they will if you believe. And you say you can trust your gut, your destiny, life, karma, whatever. Okay. So this is Steve Jobs. Now look. What happens is. When you do believe. And when you tune in to where you want to go, you hang out with your dream, what happens is tuck, 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 and boom! You raise your awareness and you fill in that void. And all of a sudden, it's not a void for you anymore. You've learned through experience. You see? And now you're here. And then what happens then? Then you're like, oh shit, I could have gone there. Right? So the process starts again. And that's why when you know how this works, you become powerful because you start to understand. It's not like some crazy concept that works for some and not others and you're like confused. Now you know how it really works. It's all about raising your vibration. It's all about raising your frequency, your level of awareness. That's what life is all about. You see? And when you do that once, when you get to the orange X, and you're like, fuck, I could have gone to the star. It's cool because you already know you can do it and it will be easier the next time. And you become comfortable being uncomfortable. That's what this is. The first time is the hardest when you have to take the leap of faith. Like for me, it was, but they told me they had so much belief in me. My mentors, Bob and William, they had so much belief in me. They just said, you know, they, I, I didn't even believe in myself, but I, they had so much belief that I, I was like, yeah, fuck it. I don't have nothing to lose. And they had so much success. They've built businesses. They have millions of followers, like millions of views on YouTube, multiple bestseller, Amazon. They make shit happen. They inspire people. I got I had nothing to lose, man. Nothing. And then it started to manifest. I brought some of my dreams into my life. For example, I made partner. I was made partner. I'm signing tomorrow with the Natural Success Academy with William Whitecloud. I'm going to be running all of America which means seminars for thousands of people, trainings, coachings. It's absolutely phenomenal. I was, when he made me partner, I was at the beach in Egypt and I was running up and down the beach like a child out of joy because that was a dream of mine. That was one of those stars up there. And now the pop, 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 whoosh, magic. It's absolutely beautiful. 
If I can do it, you can do it. There is literally like hundreds, thousands of other people that are following this principle. And it works for them also, so it can work for you. And I got to tell you though, there's one thing that's kind of important is that a lot of people are not aware of how they create the success. Okay. So then that they create success in an area of life, but they're not aware. They don't know how they do it. It's like good programming, good people around them and God bless them. It's cool. But there's a drawback for that. It's like, if you don't know how you did it, you cannot repeat it in other areas of your life. Okay. You cannot repeat it and you cannot transfer it to other people because you don't know how you did it. So there is a lot of power in studying this, how it works and not just intellectually understand, but really internalizing. That's what we're going to do over the, over the next weeks together. All right. So next big, big person here, you don't know this guy, Albert Einstein, ladies and gentlemen, he was saying everything is energy. Okay. Everything on like, it might like look solid, but you know, everything is moving. It's the first law of vibration. Everything is, is, is moving. All these particles, everything is energy. And he said, everything is energy. And that's all there is to it. Match the frequency of the reality you want. And you cannot help but get that reality. It can be no other way. This is not philosophy. This is physics. Okay. This is not just, this is Albert Einstein speak, like saying that it's not like just some weird concept that like woo woo all that. It is if you, you attract the same kind of people and opportunities that you send out. It's like the vibration you send out is what you attract. You change your level of awareness. You change your vibration. You're going to attract new things. It's, it's a law. It's physics. It's not just a concept. It's a law. The universe operates by law. There's night never follows night. Then there's day. The sun is always coming. It's a law. It's just some things will never, winter never, never follows winter. There always will be a spring. It can be a long winter. And depending on where you live, it could be that winter yeah, is super long and annoying. But it's always like spring is always coming. So this is a law and it's good to be familiar with these laws and to choose to be in harmony with these laws. Okay. So that's Albert Einstein. Okay. So I hope got you motivated. Now we're going to speak about goals because I said, when you, when you study all these successful people in all areas of life, it's like the one thing that they do have in common is they have a big dream. Okay. You gotta have a big dream. And now let's look at what I refer to the A, B, C of goals. Okay. And by the way, if you have a chance, if you have paper and pen, please write it down, write that down. Cause it's gonna, you know, we're going to repeat it next week quickly in the beginning, but it's just going to stick better. Okay. So write it down. The ABC of the goals we have three type of goals. We have a type goal, B type goal and C type goals. Okay. Now, A type goals are the ones that you already know how to do. So these are based on current results. Okay. So that could be if you're playing football and you're playing in, let's say you're playing in, um, in the second league in Germany. Okay. If you have a goal to play in another club in the second league in Germany, that is a goal that is, you already know how to do. Okay. So let's put here next to the A, you already know how to do it. It's like, if you have a car, so let's say you're driving a, you're driving a Porsche and your goal is to buy a new Porsche and you've had that Porsche for five years. It's like you've known for five years how to get a Porsche. If you want to replace your Porsche, that is not a goal that is inspiring because you already know how to do it. You've known, in fact, for five years how to do it. 
Why do we have goals in the first place? We don't set goals to get stuff. We don't have goals to win championships or, or, or like win medals or, you know, make more money. That's not why we have goals. We have goals to grow. We have goals to become a better person to raise our awareness, to gain experience. That's why we have goals. And there's no inspiration in buying a new car that you've already, you've already known for five years how to get a car. That's not, it's not gonna do it, right? So that's A-type goals. Now, moving on to B-type goals. Now, B-type goals are what I would call like stretch goals. And stretch goals are like if you, if you're, goal is to make it to the Olympics. It's like, okay, if my brother is supporting me, you know, driving me back and forth and training, if my coach is staying with me, if I get the funding and if I don't get sick and if I have a good competition there and I rest well, then I can qualify for the Olympics. Okay. This is, you already know how to do it if things go well. So this is a stretch goal, but a lot of ambitious people they set stretch goals because they want to challenge themselves, but they still, they can see how they're going to get there. Okay. So that, that's what we call like a plan. Plan. And that is what you think, what, what I think I can do. Okay. If things go, play out well, I know how to get that. And, you know, people are at this point, people say, well, isn't it good to, to set like some like B type goals and all that? Yeah. In the short term. Yes. But now here with the law of attraction, we're really, we're, we're going for the star. We're, we're really, we're trying to figure out what is that big dream? Because honestly, that was the mistake that I made and I wasn't aware of it, but I, I had a big dream as a swimmer to go to win the Olympics when I was little, but then People didn't exactly make fun of me, but they're saying, well, well, you know, we'll see later. We'll see later. Um, go get, you know, do well in school. And, and they, and they kind of, the dream just kind of died. And after that, I was always thinking along the lines, what's realistic for me? What is a realistic goal? So I was thinking A and B type goals, but think about Michael Phelps, Michael Phelps. He grew up with parents that, you know, in America, in the first place, there is only gold, right? So, yay. Then he was, he had an Olympic gold medalist coach. He had Olympic gold medalist teammates. There was, everything was gold, 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 Olympic gold. So he was programmed. He probably didn't even know that there's a silver and a bronze, right? He, he knew because we're 15, he won the bronze. But still, he had that dream. And he was definitely not thinking A and B type. He had a C type goal. And a C type goal is fantasy fantasy and you have no idea how you're going to get there no idea write this down if you can okay now what do they tell you in school about fantasizing imagining things daydreaming They'll tell you, don't do it. Pay attention to me. Learn math. Learn, you know, learn this and that and this and that. And we learn in school to repeat knowledge. We fill our brains with like stuff that's not important. Goal setting, making money, relationships, all that stuff isn't taught in school. So the school system has a lot to learn. So it's fantasy. The Wright brothers had a fantasy to fly. Michael Jordan had a fantasy to, to be the best player. Roger Federer had a fantasy to be the best player. He dreamed about it. And now here's the thing. When you have, and this is the last thing I'm going to say for today. When you have a fantasy, you know, a lot of people have a dream. My best friend, he, and, and I'm working with him and it's, it's a really cool process, but He's, he's telling me about his dream and it's a cool dream, I have to say. And I asked him, how often do you hang out with the dream? Like how, how much do you nurture it? And he was like, yeah, you know, once a month. 
Now, what happens if you go to the gym once a month? Say these bad boys want to get bigger. You want them to be bigger. I want them to be bigger. What happens if I go to the gym once a month? Nada. Zip. Nothing happens. How come people expect the mind to be different? Everything that you mastered in your life, in your career as an athlete, even everywhere, you have mastered through repetition. So if you have a dream, if you have a fantasy, the first step is to make it clearer and clearer. Well, the first step is to start to hang out with that fantasy every day. There's different ways to go about it, and that's what we're going to explore in this little course together over the next few weeks. But it start, it's about nurturing that dream. It's about, it's, it's about like making the fantasy, we'll speak about it. a fantasy is first just a fantasy. But as you nurture it, as you give it your attention, as you give it your focus, Tony Robbins is saying, where focus goes, energy flows. You start to nurture that, that fantasy and it starts to turn into a theory and into a goal. And then you have two questions and we'll, we'll do that next week. You have two questions. The first question is, am I capable? Absolutely you're capable. Nobody knows what you're capable of. You're, you have unlimited potential. And I do. And everybody does. And the second question is, am I willing? Am I willing to make the sacrifices? Am I willing to do what it takes to get there? If you answer these two questions, you have a goal, it's a fantasy, it becomes a goal, and then you're going to move that into a fact. That's the creative cycle. And we're going to look at that next time, okay? But that, I want to give you, um, I want to give you a, well, an exercise, I guess. I want to get, yeah, well, I, I do want to give you an exercise to do, and do it right now. Don't postpone it. If you like what I was saying, if you make a commitment, to try this on for size, as I said in the beginning, do just like I did what my mentors told me, try it on for size. And the exercise is you take five minutes, you start the sentence, take your native language, the language you feel most comfortable in. For five minutes, right in present tense, you start with, I am so happy and grateful now that. I am so happy and grateful now that. And you start writing in present tense. You start writing down your dream. And don't worry about it. If it's not super clear, don't worry about it. Don't worry about how you're going to get there. Don't worry about all the reasons how it cannot work and what could go wrong. You don't want to give it any energy what could go wrong because that's what everybody, most people are doing. Just focus on what you want. And don't sell yourself short. Don't. I had a tennis player. They asked her about her dream. And she was saying it would be like top 100. It's like, do you think Serena Williams said, like, I want to be top 100 when she set out? Hell fucking no. Michael Jordan didn't say, oh, I want to I wanna play in an NBA final. He, he go for it. Just go for it. Nobody freaking knows what you're capable of. Nobody knows. So just go for it. Start dreaming. Just write it down. There's nothing that can happen. Literally, you have nothing to lose. Write down for five minutes. Let the pen fly in present tense. Just write it down. How you feel. Who you're hanging out with. Where, where you are in your sport. How many sponsors do you have? How many people believe in you? How many people do you inspire? Just write it down, everything, and don't sell yourself a cent short, okay? Just do that and see how you feel about it. Try it on for size. See how it feels, okay? And if you want to do extra, you do that exercise for five minutes every day until we meet again next week, okay? And we're going to take this to the next step. We're just going to build on that. We're going to do quick repetition, and we're just going to build on that. 30 minutes every week and with a little bit of homework in between do it now don't put it off five minutes of your time and see how you feel if you like it even if you don't give it a, give it some time right try it on for size and walk with it a little bit 
and um, just do it every day for five minutes. Write it down and you'll see that dream will start to fill out in color. There will be more details. You'll start to see it more. That's what it is. Imagination is so dialed down for all of us, for most of us. It's like we were all so creative and so playful when we were kids. And then they told us we have to do this and that and don't do that. You know, can't do this, can't do that. You got to make money. Yeah, don't dream. Yeah, got to be realistic and all that shit. Okay. And as you practice your imagination, it will develop. It's literally like a muscle. It's just like memory. If you work on the memory, if you work your memory, it will get better. If you work your imagination, it will become more colorful, more vivid. And then you got to get emotionally involved. Just feel it. Feel it with your heart. Okay, so do that and then I'll see you next week. Okay, I hope that was helpful. I'll go through the comments at the end and uh, wish you a great week and see you next time. Okay, ciao, ciao.